my dance group is about two years old and so far we've been working with educational institutions and you know social bodies and a few NGOs. Our primary focus was to be a resident theater group for research. In this part of the world, as I've seen in other parts of the world too, the arts is not respected. Going into the performing arts was basically to change the perception of people about the program. Apart from the impact, the professionalization of dance was very, very necessary for me to make people see that, look, this is a viable avenue for business. With Beautiful Freedom, I have, I have loved how professional, let me say, the group, the whole team is. I like how we've been respected. Our profession has been respected. And I think in this is my first time living in Winneba. There's so much to be done here. There are so many talents out there, with the kids especially. I mean, there are some of the kids we, we think are good that we can assimilate into my company. And if that happens, I'll be very happy. Working with these kids, it's good we don't know their backgrounds. It's good we don't know what they've been through, where they come from. And I respect you guys so much for that. This project, what I've realized is that there's a baseline of respect. So it becomes a safe space. With the younger kids, what I felt with them was that, yes, they crave structure, yes, they crave attention and all that, but they want to be their own people too. And I think that is where um, this whole project fits in. Of course, I decide what to teach them. What do they want? How do they also say, we created this? How do they lay claim to what is done? So it's not my creative piece. piece. It becomes an intellectual property of the kids and, and us.